Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. So as you people know, we recently finished the free DevOps course, 45 days of free DevOps course. And while I posted about this on my LinkedIn profile and also I created a video on the last day of the free DevOps course uh, regarding the completion of course, when I looked into the comment section, I noticed that most of you were asking about uh, Abhishek, can you please make a video on how to prepare the resume, how to put the projects inside the resume or, you know, people were asking a lot of questions about resume, fresher resume, two years experience, three years experience, people trying to switch from non-IT to IT. So I thought I'll make a detailed video where I'll explain you, explain you people, how do I prepare my resume, how to create an attractive resume that stands out from other people. And also the very interesting point is how do we write things in the resume? So these are some of the things that I'm going to show you today. And uh, this is all going to be a free uh, thing. Like, so what, what happens is when you try to prepare your resume, you go to a website, you prepare all the content and at, at the end of the, uh, you know, uh, content creation, you will notice that uh, this website turns out or, you know, it turns out to be a paid one or uh, at the end of your resume creation to download the resume, they would uh, charge you some money. So instead of getting into all of this trouble, so I, I'll show you how to create a free and attractive resume, the one that you can see here. Uh, so this is my resume and, uh, you know, I'll explain you people how to create uh, this kind of resumes for free. Perfect. So without wasting any time, let's uh, quickly jump onto the video. Uh, so what you need to do uh, first is you need to uh, just go to your browser and search for uh, Canva free resume. Right. So you would go to this, uh, this option called uh, free online resume builder. So click on this one. So there are like I told you, if you just search for free uh, resume builders, you'll find a lot of uh, these free resume builders, but none of them are actually free. Like you can uh, go here. Uh, I don't know which uh, website is this. I randomly picked it. You can just start with this. You prepare a very attractive resume, but end of the day or end of your resume creation, you will notice that, you know, they would ask you for some money to download the resume. But if you just go with Canva, uh, you know, uh, just search for free resume builder Canva and uh, click on build my resume. They would, uh, they have a bunch of templates. So, you know, you can pick uh, one out, one out of these uh, uh, temp templates. So the page is loading. Uh, as it loads, you will notice that uh, we will uh, see a bunch of templates. Uh, let me go back. I think probably Canva resume. Just, just search for Canva resume, right? I think the network is slight slow today free printable resume templates you can customize, right? Click on this one. And what you will notice is they have a bunch of templates. So I'll also put the link in the description. Uh, if you haven't uh, followed the link, don't worry about it. Uh, you can just click on the link in the description. So these are the uh, resume templates. So here you have professional as well as non-professional uh, resume templates, right? So they have all loaded now and uh, make sure you don't select the pro one right? Uh, so the one that has this uh, icon here. So that means to say it's a pro resume, uh, you'll be charged for it. But rest of all, like you have a bunch of resumes here. Uh, so you can pick one out of them. Uh, so like I told you, there are professional as well as non professional, because this website uh, is for everyone. So you can pick uh, a simple uh, resume that will not waste a lot of space uh, in your page. And one thumb rule is you should always try to keep your resume uh, as simple as possible. Like, you know, do not go for uh, six page, seven page resumes because you are not preparing a newspaper. You are just preparing a uh, resume, right? So uh, that's why uh, try to pick one that looks attractive. Like, for example, uh, I just picked one here. So this is the one that I showed you. So you can also pick this one or you can pick uh, any one that you would like. Uh, just come here, click on customize this template, right? So as you find this one, uh, pink simple profile resume. So now what you can do is uh, as this page loads, you will notice that all of the items inside this uh, template are editable format, right? So you can edit and you can update your own fields here. 
so if you are a fresher or if you have one or two years of experience or you know you have been working in uh, one single company so don't bother about uh, creating multiple page uh, resumes so let me just increase this font so that you people can see it clear so here you go so this is a uh, resume template. It's just a one page resume. And I would highly recommend a single page resume uh, if it is possible. Like uh, for example, if you have uh, seven years, eight years, you have been working in different companies, then I understand it's not quite possible. So even if you, if you take my case, I have a two page resume. But uh, if you are a, a college grad or you know, if you have uh, a little experience, then go with one page resume. It's, it's a very good option. Like whoever is, uh, a recruiter or uh, a technical person who is going through a resume, it will be very easy for them to go through the resume. And it depends on how efficiently you're using this one single page. If you see here, this resume has a uh, about me section, professional experience. If you are working in one company, this is more than good. And then uh, you have a option here where you can uh, provide your achievements, your educational background. Uh, you can ignore this uh, soft skill section. If you are just, uh, you know, uh, you can just put uh, what are your uh, achievements and uh, what are your skills, your contact details. So this page is, or this one page resume is more than enough and it looks uh, pretty good, right? So now coming to your uh, major problem that most of you people, like one, one problem is solved. Like here you can edit all of these fields and uh, you can prepare your own resume. So this is problem number one that is solved. Now coming to problem number two is how do you actually frame the, uh, like you people might have followed my uh, complete DevOps course or you people might have watched any other course or a Udemy course. Now you're finding it difficult to frame the sentences, okay? Or you're not able to understand how do you create or put the projects, right? So this is something that many of you have been asking. So how do I put, uh, put the project details and all of the things? So first thing is try it by yourself. There is no problem if you are going wrong. But the second thing is, I have also uh, suggested this uh, in the uh, previous videos. So there is an option here, or there is a website called uh, Hire IT. Just go here, search for Hire IT Resume Database. So this is a wonderful website. Uh, like I told you, if you people are finding it difficult to uh, understand or create the projects. So go here. Uh, this is a resume database. Uh, it has uh, some thousands or you know hundreds of thousands of profiles just come here search for devops okay and uh, click on search resumes so you'll find resumes of uh, real candidates right so for example uh, you are uh, in azure devops okay and you want to uh, put yourself or you want to use uh, you want to create azure devops uh, resume right so in such cases what you can do is you can click on this open this one and you know, you can use this as your reference. Try to understand like this person uh, has 17 years of experience, but you know, uh, the experience in the Azure uh, is uh, kind of three to four years. So you can try to see what this person has done or you know, what is he uh, showcasing in his resume. But if you feel this 17 years is too much, what you can also do is you can search for DevOps, for example, five year. And this website would, uh, come up with uh, close to ones like you know around five years of experience in the field of DevOps engineering. Uh, if you think that uh, this is fine, just click on it. Uh, this is AWS DevOps engineering resume, right? Uh, and here you go. Like uh, you can uh, take a look at the projects. Like for example, uh, the client details are hidden for obvious reasons. But see what is this person uh, or what this person has put uh, in his uh, responsibilities. Or this is this is what you call uh, as you know, uh, this is project details and these are the responsibilities. Migrated the current Linux environment on, onto AWS, then involved in the AWS provisioning of EC2 instances. Then, uh, you know, uh, this person has also talked about the Git administration. So this will help you a lot. But also one thing to consider here is try to understand or, you know, try to pick up the, uh, you know, uh, aggregation or uh, average of multiple profiles. So just that you find one profile, do not try to uh, take this profile and use this profile. Instead, go through multiple profiles. Okay, so in such cases, you will try to like, for example, this is another resume, five years of DevOps experience on Java applications, like probably if you're coming from Java background, try to take a look at this profile. Okay, so this profile has DevOps engineering plus Java. Okay, so you can make use of uh, these kind of things to make your DevOps resume better. For example, now let me create a resume 
of uh, let's take uh, two years experience candidate. Okay. So what I would first do here is uh, where is this one? Yeah. I'll increase the font again so that it's clear to you. Perfect. So firstly, get rid of this and uh, try to upload your own uh, picture. So let's say uh, I will use my own picture. Uh, this is just for uh, reference. So how do you do is you can simply go here, click on uh, upload files and you can upload uh, one of the pictures from your uh, personal workstation. Okay. So uh, for example, this is my picture. Uh, let's say I would like to pick this one. Okay, so you can simply drag and drop this one here, right? So this is very easy. Canva is uh, just about drag, drag and drop. Now, just uh, change your name. Uh, let me call this as Abhishek. And uh, let me put the uh, name as DevOps engineer, right? See how simple is this, okay? And in the about me section, uh, you can simply uh, update this one to whatever you would like to. Uh, you can simply say DevOps engineer who aims at improving the efficiency of the organization by adding in automation and best practices, right? So this is uh, a very sample, uh, you know, couple of lines that I've just prepared. Uh, I did not uh, think about this uh, before writing this one. So, you know, you can uh, make this much better. Probably you can say like, you know, uh, uh, by adding in automation and the best practices, and then you can add a few more things about yourself. Probably if you are very passionate or, you know, if you are very uh, hardworking, whatever you would like to put there. Okay. And then, you know, in the, in the professional experience, then you come up with the uh, details. Like, you know, you can uh, drag and drop here. I'm just using the same template. What I'm doing is I removed a couple of lines from here. So there is a space that is left. So I'm just trying to utilize that one single page uh, that I just talked about, right? So because I'm trying to prepare a two years uh, uh, resume. So what I'll do is uh, probably put uh, the company, let's say I'm working for IBM, uh, just for an example. So you can say uh, IBM and uh, you can also put your project name. For example, if your project is um, uh, anything like DevOps automation team, for example, okay? Whatever, this team can be uh, anything. And uh, let's say I started working on 2000, uh, from 2021. So you can say 2021 to present. So isn't it very simple? And here comes the actual thing. Like in the key responsibilities, this is where most of the people try to find it difficult, right? So here, what you can simply do is, like if you are, uh, like, you know, if you have real, uh, experience in the uh, field of DevOps and you can write all of these things on your own, then it is well and good. If not, you might have watched my uh, videos where I have explained uh, about each and every uh, aspect, uh, the why aspect of each and every tool. Uh, let's say uh, this two years old person is uh, very strong in Kubernetes. So what you can say is, is you know, uh, worked as a uh, subject matter expertise, uh, SME, or you can also say a single point of contact uh, for uh, Kubernetes and, uh, you know, performed proof of concepts to onboard the development teams onto the Kubernetes platform. Then here, you know, whenever the interviewer asks you about this question, probably you can say about the examples. Uh, how did you deploy your applications? Uh, what uh, what services did you use? Uh, how did you create ingress and all of the things? But you don't have to write all of them uh, in your resume, right? Because if you write all of them uh, in your resume, uh, you know, it becomes a very long resume or it becomes a newspaper. Uh, instead, you can just write some key responsibilities. If you, if you feel that this is too much uh, for uh, two years experience, or if you don't have uh, that, uh, strong experience on Kubernetes, what you can do is you can uh, modify and you can say, you know, uh, 
uh, here. Probably you can start with one of the uh, primary responsibilities is to containerize the micro uh, services in the team, microservices, and deploy them onto the Kubernetes platform. So this is a very simple thing, right? So uh, you should be able to containerize an application and deploy it onto the Kubernetes platform. And probably you can add uh, introduced node port uh, services with proper ingress configurations. And then uh, if you have very good experience with Ansible, for example, you can say managed configuration of multiple uh, Linux servers using CM tools or configuration management tools like Ansible. And then, you know, numbers are very important. Like if you can, sorry for that. So if you can talk about the numbers, then you can uh, probably mention, uh, you know, uh, manage the configuration of hundreds of servers or thousands of servers. So this is how you write uh, the key responsibilities. Like it's not a rocket science. And if you are not able to write a, any of these things, like I told you, you can make use of this uh, uh, resume uh, database. And uh, for example, this one, uh, what was this about like here? This is about uh, AWS DevOps. And let's say this person has experience with Ansible. So what, what did he write about Ansible? So he said, use the Ansible and Ansible Tower as configuration management tools to automate a repetitive task, quickly deploy critical applications and proactively manage change. So this is looking very nice, right? So uh, like, you know, you can probably take this as your reference. You can modify this and uh, you know you can update this accordingly onto your resume. This is because you know about Ansible, but your problem is that you're not able to, you know, uh, write these things onto your profile or, or onto your resume. So in such cases, make use of this. Like, you know, do not just copy it or do not just dump all of these things onto your resume because your interviewer will start asking you a lot of questions on this thing. And if you don't know, then you will uh, run into the trouble. So this, specific thing is only for your reference. Uh, it will help you a lot uh, in cases where you are not able to frame uh, the points that you have learned. Okay. So this is how, uh, you know, you can uh, complete building your uh, profile. Uh, this will be a very uh, simple one. Like I told you, then once you're done with it, uh, if you click on this option here called share, you have an option called download. Right. So once you download your resume is ready, uh, you can also prepare uh, instead of one single page. Let's say if you have a uh, two page or three page, so you can come down here and click on add page. So it will add you a new, it will add a new page for you. And if you want the new page also in the same template, just uh, click on control a and uh, paste it using control C in the new page. Right. So then you can get rid of uh, your image and all of the things on your second page if you don't want. Okay. So this is how uh, you can build uh, your resume. So in your second page, you can simply uh, scroll it a bit and uh, then add uh, your points in your second resume. If you have more project details and all of the, all of the things. So this is the video for today. And uh, this is how you can prepare your own resume. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, you'll find the difference because uh, this resume that you are going to build is, is going to be a very impressive one, uh, not in just the way you look at the resume, but also because if you make use of this uh, higher IT uh, resume database, I'm not promoting this tool. Uh, this is just, uh, you know, uh, for people who are finding it really difficult to prepare the resumes. Thank you so much. I hope you uh, really enjoy the video today. And uh, if you found this uh, useful, definitely put uh, post that in the comment section that, you know, Abhishek, I was able to prepare the resume or uh, you can also share uh, these links. If you don't want to share the video, that's fine. You can just share the links with people who, who want to prepare their resumes or, you know, people who are looking uh, or finding it difficult to prepare the resumes. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.